We're back with version 11 of the rail bike. And you know who's joining us? The Red Baron. I'm gonna quickly go over the changes for this version. Change number one, we have returned to the multi-wheel spacing outrigger, also known as the anti-torque device. This works very well, we're sticking with it. We have completely robusticized this device. Dual wheels, bronze bushings in here for smooth rotation, and we have the guides now spring-loaded. Here we go, we're on our way to do rail bike setup. Back is wider. Oh, that's... Interesting. Good thing we got adjustments. Are tracks not standard? Like they're not a standard size? I don't even know if this is a real track or not. <laughs> it might just be pretty. <laughs> All right, starting at the beginning, we now have completely vertical rollers running in two solid bushings or bearings. And the bottom one is spring loaded so that it can come out. This rotates on this shaft here. I've put an additional stiffener in there and I've made new aluminum angle for ultimate rigidity. I do have these here to put a tie down to make sure this doesn't come up, but for how short this track is, I think it'll be fine. The outrigger is no different than before. The anti-torque screw is there, clamps onto a shaft all the way across, but what we did go back to is the wider wheels and two. Uh, sets and this is so that as the force Comes down with a wheel in the middle if it's even slightly off it tends to either tighten it or undo it with this It's much more stable well, this is totally the one. Maiden voyage here we go version 11 oh Yeah, this one's good. This one is mid. So stable I also wanted to explain, it's freezing out by the way, explain why we're here today. So these rails are mint condition. Look at these rails. It's known as good rail. Good rail. And that is why we're on a shorter section of railway, but it's mint rail. We've graduated to the point where the old rusty rail is no longer good for testing. It's insufficient for our needs. Wow, that is some nice rail. Yeah, this is the one. This, this thing is mint now. Yeah, we just need to adjust the other one. Oh yeah, this is the one. Oh wow. Oh, it's so smooth. So should I be leaning into the left a little bit? I usually do. We can got to adjust that. I think that the right rail is actually lower here. Very good stability. Are you sure I'm okay? She's off to a little bit of a slow start. The front is moving a little bit. It's okay. But once the Baron gets going, there's no controlling the speed at which she'll travel. Red Baron! <laughs> As we make our way to 88 miles per hour. The Whoa. Red Baron will travel back in time. Tell me when we're getting to the bad rail. No, it's good. You're good all the way. Oh, not bad. Okay. For some reason, she has decided to come to a stop. And now we're not sure. What, what what's going on? I think I'm done. You're done? I think so. Okay, hold on. Smash right into it. <laughs> this one's good. It's very good. It's very smooth. It's just gotta work out that leaning issue a bit. Yeah, 
Yeah, you're leaning in. It's working good. It's working very good. So quick update, because we're wet and we're cold. I am happy with this version. I knew it was gonna work well, and I knew it would work even better on the good rail. So the next video you're gonna see this thing is me taking on a long-term test ride. I'm thinking 3,000 miles.